If you didn't know, Samsung has fully incorporated Web3 into their flat screen TVs. Not only that, since April of 2024, they did not launch one, but they launched four NFT collections. If you want to sneak peek this August, they are going to Gamescon in partnership with Illuvium to launch some Web3 games. If you're attending, visit the booth because they have prizes and 10 exclusive Samsung generator NFTs. There's only a few ways to get some of these bad boys and I'll explain the benefits in a second. And that is attending the event or you buying the Web3 TV bundle, which is also in collaboration with Ledger, yes, the hard wallet. This is what it takes to onboard the masses, being in front of eyeballs, tens of millions of eyeballs in people's houses. You might be asking why Web3 and the question you should be asking, what won't be Web3 in the future? Having control of your own assets, being able to display it. And let's say someone comes over, sees your screen, loves your asset, you could sell it to them. So far, the member benefits are additional <laughs> NFTs, but those will enter you into win everyday goodies and big bundles like the TV set I just mentioned. Now, these aren't just attendance NFTs. These are actual NFTs in collaboration with major artists in Europe. Most of these are given for free and on a secondary market, which I'll show you in a second. A lot of these are going for 300 bucks a pop. So imagine getting free stuff, selling it for $300 and then buying a Samsung TV. It's the circle of life. They call this a Samsung MX1 collection. Try saying that 10 times fast. The collection encompasses segments from fashion, 3D motion, photography, and architecture, and interior design. I love how they're entering the space during these times in the markets where not a lot of eyeballs on Web3 and NFTs. We know the metaverse is coming. And we know blockchain is going to be a big piece of that. I love how Samsung's playing the part. You can still mint one of three Genesis artworks from a collaboration with TX1, they call it. But if not, you could buy on a secondary marketplace on OpenSea, or you can search online for a voucher that will get you a Genesis Mint. I love what they're doing here, partnering up with Ledger and Illuvium. If you didn't know, Illuvium is a blockchain made specifically for Web3 gaming. Available through Epic stores already, and we did a couple news updates on how you can claim free Illuvium NFTs through Amazon. They seem to be poised to be the gaming platform of the future. Of course, Illuvium has a token and it has been doing well these last few days. If you watch my previous market updates, gaming tokens are on the up and up and have massive opportunities. Right now is the best time to enter in gaming tokens because before they didn't really have a use case, but now they're actually in front of eyeballs, as you can see in front of Samsung screens. I dare say gaming tokens has the best upside this cycle because they're finally getting in front of a lot of people. Last year was all building. Now it's finally time to capitalize. If you want to sneak peek on the top 10 that I'm looking into, click on the link down below. I not only go over gaming tokens, but we go over meme coins, NFTs, digital assets, alternate asset classes for you to hedge against, yes, inflation. If you like insights like this that dive a little bit deeper into the market and what's actually happening, then follow along and subscribe because we have three market updates weekly on Web3, NFTs, and digital assets. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.